channel whose name is Robin Lee. Robin's the CEO and founder of a company called Baidu. Baidu is the largest search engine in China. Robin knows a thing or two about killing giants. He's thrown Google on its back in his home country. Uh, it's a complex story, and I don't want you to get the impression that I can gloss over it quickly and say it's all due to one thing. But as I've spoken to former Google China people, venture capitalists who know Robin well, Robin himself, Baidu employees, there's a pivotal couple of things I do want to talk to you about, and that's where our lesson is going to come in. Baidu came of age as the internet came of age in China. Um, first couple of years of our current century. Here we've got coastal cities where there's a lot of familiarity with Western brands, Western technology, Google, Yahoo, brands like that are very familiar to these people. But as the secondary and tertiary markets away from the coasts came online, those loyalties didn't exist. And into that gap steps Baidu, originally as a B2B company, providing search engine technology to front-end portals like Sina and Sohu, kind of like what our uh, My Yahoo page would look like today. And all of a sudden, he makes the decision that he needs to be a business-to-consumer facing brand, and he throws that switch, and he's competing with his customers from day one. That's a risky proposition, isn't it? But the pivotal part that makes this work is how he positioned not only his own company, but how he positioned all of his competitors and lump them together. What's Baidu saying here? We speak Chinese better than those guys do. Is it true? Is it true that Baidu spoke Chinese better than Google China did? You know, I've asked people who are actually in a position to know this, and they'll waffle and they'll say, you know, I, technically I suppose you could say that Google's algorithms were a little bit better, but you know, it's hard to say. Trust me, the consumers in those secondary and tertiary markets didn't care because they couldn't spell Google, G-O-O-G-L-E dot C-N. If you can't spell Google, how do you shake an argument like that off? You don't. And they didn't. And they lost. There's been a lot of press about how it happened and why it happened. At the end of the day, the internet watchers in China who I have spoken to unanimously say the same thing. Baidu painted them into a corner and they refused to escape. And that's why things shook out the way they did in China.